understand that. The other stuff is the trash. Everybody seems to see us a lot of different ways. Uh, some people think we're a, a roots rockabilly band that plays the blues or something. Other people see us as uh, this uh, bunch of uh, transsexual weirdos from outer space. Um, you know, maybe maybe that's all true. English press has this like cartoonish perception of us. Other people think we're the devil. You know, other people think we're heaven. We are the Hellcats. Nobody likes. stage is, is kind of fun because nobody can stop and say, no, do it over, do it this way, do it that way. You're just on your own. Whatever yeah. happens, happens. Wait, stop. Don't do no, that. One, no one can say, phone call for you or anything like that. same thing that teenagers did in 1961 or something, you know, but we're different because we're, uh, we've been through a lot and we're uh, living in 1991, is it? And uh, so it uh, comes out a little different, but I think the, uh, the main uh, uh, thrust, the force down below that makes it all come out is the same thing. What is it about that whole era that appeals to you so much compared to, say, now? Do you find it more an age of innocence? Oh, no, it wasn't innocent. It was, uh, everybody was trying to be bigger than life. Everything was bigger. Cars were bigger. Music was bigger. Everybody was sexier. I, I call it new. It was newness. It was the first time uh, uh, rock and roll uh, became music uh, that everybody was listening to as opposed to just uh, people in the ghetto or something like that. It was rhythm and blues before that, and then all of a sudden it spread like wildfire. And you had them rocket ship cars that everybody was driving that she just referred to, and uh, horror movies were really big. Flying saucers had only been cut landing since 1946. It, uh, just so much good stuff happening at the time. Um, I don't know, these days it pale by comparison. Well, 
just uh, the beginning of this year, um, um, we have Slim Chance. He was in a group before called the Mad Daddies, and, and we've, we've known him for years. Uh, we produced a, a record with them uh, quite a few years ago. But, uh, but uh, um, So that's how that happened. We, we knew him and everything. We didn't know this. We were over strange. here. He forced us to take it. We, we still don't want him, him, but we can't I get rid of him. once before a long time ago. Yeah. I don't remember You've that. They were watching I don't believe it. Like, hey, he, he, said, he says he's met us before. But uh, yeah, he was, he was a 13th member. I actually yeah, used to come to my August house 13th. to try and meet me. <laughs> yeah, I am the 13th there. member. Hired on the 13th. Yeah. Born on the 13th. Yeah. Right. We play rock oh, and no, roll, so we have a lot of problems uh, here and there. It slows us down in the past, it has occasionally. We would have no trouble cranking them out, but it's just getting, getting them out. The business end of it is something that we've never been adept at. Um, as adept as we get to say in that word. Um, so that's why we have trouble getting records out. There's more to it than just writing songs and recording them and then just they're in the store. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to do sometimes. write about music should, should be as good at writing about music as I am a singer. And uh, sometimes people that write about music don't know anything about rock and roll. They don't know anything about what happened before, you know, five years ago or something. So I think you should. You know, I think you should know a little history. Or your opinion isn't worth much.
We're just trying to have a good time. We're just doing what comes natural, but it would be nice if we had some influence to make people listen to, to uh, not only old things, but, uh, but more than just new things that they hear on the radio. Mm. They're not going to find out much good that way. Thank you. 